Hi, this is Georgia Lin Fong of Serious Research. Here, with some quick highlights from the recent report, Regional Outliers. What we do in this report is that we look at 14 sectors across 10 key markets that we cover to see if there are any investment strategies that would be helpful for portfolio management. And what we noticed was that materials was a bright spot across the global landscape, especially so in LATAM, since it was the only sector that was favored there. On the other hand, we saw technology flag natively in markets that we saw risk. So that brings me to the UK. From a global position report that was released a few weeks ago, we had noticed a latency in expectations coming down in the UK and also uncertainty in sell side estimates. One of the sources of this is tech. So if you look at the estimate revision in the blue line here for technology stocks in the UK, and um, you'll see that 60% um, is indicated as the upward revision. So that means that six, every six out of every 10 estimates were revised higher over the past three months. And that's compared to a recent high of 70% or so. So back then, seven out of every 10 estimates were being revised higher. So it's not too far from the peak. And we think, you know, tech is definitely one of the risks inside the UK market right now in terms of elevated expectations. And that's partly because I, we think that analysts have not looked beyond this acceleration in growth. So the maroon line stands for the sales growth of these technology stocks. And right now they're running a clip of around 15% or so year over year basis. And, you know, since we know that global slowdown is coming or is in progress already, the latency of um, this top line is definitely notable, which means that I, we think that there is more downside to go for the technology sector. So another key point that I want to highlight to you is China. A lot has been priced into the stocks there, but we do continue to see ongoing challenges. The industrial sector was flagged negatively since its valuations and expectations are relatively high compared to its peers. Now we've seen expectations adjust for smaller Chinese shares, um, especially in the industrial sector. And this is the maroon line here. So in terms of reading this chart, um, you'll see that 30% of estimates were being revised higher over the past three months. And that's relatively low compared to historical standards. But we do see that um, you know, it will remain low given the ongoing risks that we see in the market. And if you look at the PMI alone, um, you'll see that the latest release um, indicates a contraction at less than 50 50, um, 50 points for this. So with that backdrop and you know, with all the geopolitical risk out there, we do see that risk is going to linger in China. And um, this contraction should um, continue. So we do have more details in our regional outliers report, which you can find on our website. And uh, for any questions, do feel free to contact us as well. And uh, thank you so much.